What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build a working Lego table lamp. This can be activated by pressing a switch on the table which toggles the light on and off. This is a really simple but effective mechanism and it's great for illuminating your minifigures bedrooms, lounges and any other part of that house. Plus it's also a nice and compact design fitting in a 3 stud wide space. So how does this actually work? When you push the switch on the top, that in turn presses down a light brick inside the cabinet and you can see that's what's responsible for lighting up the lamp on the table. And this way you also have the benefit of just being able to leave the light switched on without having to constantly press it down. So let's get started and take a look at what you're going to need to build it. So here are all the pieces you're going to need to build your working Lego table lamp. And once you've got your parts, we can begin by building the base of the cabinet which the lamp will sit in by clipping two 1x3 plates together on the corner and filling in the gaps with some 1x2 plates on the top and bottom. Then over on this side, just clip a 1x1 plate and a modified 1x1 brick with the two studs on the side. Then over on this side, simply attach a regular 1x2 brick with a normal 1x1 brick and then a Technic hole 1x1 brick over on the gap. And this is where we'll attach the light switch mechanism. So first just clip a friction Technic pin in there, then attach this Technic hole plate over on this side and from here we can attach our two 1x1 slope pieces and each of these will actually serve a different purpose. So this one over on the top that is simply decorative so just to make the light switch look a little bit nicer, a bit more obvious and bigger to activate. Then this bottom 1x1 slope that's what's actually going to push the light brick down and toggle the light on and off. So now is a good time to implement our light brick. So let's clip two 1x3 tiles on the light brick first and then place it facing sideways like this inside the cabinet and we can secure this in place with a 1x1 plate with a clip on the end. And that will go just right in the middle of the light brick so make sure that's fully pushed down and you'll see that the light brick will now only move up and down just a fraction. And the advantage of using this plate with the clip is since the clip is smooth, that can sit right up against that brick. And that means that the light brick is very nice and flush and fits into this three stud space. So a very neat solution. Now let's cover up the front. And for this, we'll use a three by three plate along with three 1x3 jump plates and I'm using these because they sort of represent some drawers with two round handles to open up each of them so that adds a nice bit of decoration to the front and then for the surface on top of this cabinet we can take a 2x4 Technic plate with the holes on it that will allow the light to shine through from the light brick if I activate that you'll see what I mean and now finally for the lamp, we can use a 1x1 cone in gold along with a 1x1 transparent stud and this Lego Star Wars BB-8 droid head to create a nice round lampshade. And what's cool about using a golden cone is the light actually lights up the inside of the cone as well as this transparent stud and that creates the impression that the whole thing is really glowing and the light is coming down from inside the lampshade onto the actual stand of the light. So that's a really neat technique that really enhances the glowing effect. And finally the last thing left to do is to test it out. So I've built a little scene here and this is all you're really going to need to implement this into your own models. Just a flat tiled surface with some studs to clip on the side and that way you'll see that the light brick pushes down into the tiles and switches on and off when you toggle the switch. 
and now your working LEGO table lamp is complete. So if you enjoyed building it, don't forget to give this video a like. Let me know what you think of this design in the comments and subscribe to my channel for even more awesome LEGO creations. I've got a whole playlist of these working functional minifigure scale builds and machines so that will be linked in the description below. And if you'd like to get access to even more exciting bonus videos and behind the scenes content then you can also join me on Patreon and I'd like to give a big thank you to all of my Patreons for helping to make my videos possible. And the link to that will be in the description below. I'll see you guys next time with more LEGO creations and thanks for watching.